Welcome to Nifty 50 Photographers and in today's video I'm going to help you beginners out there who are wondering what is the first camera, serious camera you should buy to help you develop your hobby. Now it's a common question I get asked and I usually answer it with how much money do you want to spend. So for the purposes of this video I've set a budget of around £500 or $500 and if you stay to the end I'll tell you which model I would go for, but I've also got a little twist that will help you develop your photography even further. So watch to the end to find out what that is. I've chosen DSLR cameras because really, if you're gonna get serious about your photography, that's the way you'll end up going because you'll want to be able to change your lenses and you'll want to be able to control all your settings, like your aperture, your shutter, and your ISO. Though you don't mean anything to you yet, then I'll put a link to a video that helps explain those. So we've set our budget of £500 and I've really narrowed it down to two possible options. One from Nikon and one from Canon. I think for beginners these two both offer great value for money. So let's take a look at the one from Nikon first. Now the one I've chosen is the Nikon D3500. It has a 24.2 megapixel sensor going to produce good image quality with that size of sensor. It'll let you shoot five frames a second so that means five photos every second so if you're into sports or action photography that's good news. The other thing it'll let you do is film video in full HD that's 1080p. You're not going to get 4k video at this kind of price bracket. The only downside I could see it has a fixed LCD screen so you can't tilt or rotate it. In the UK it's going to cost you about £450 when I checked at the time of recording this video. That's in April 2022. The US, when I looked on the B&H website, it's a little bit more expensive at $650. But I guess if you shop around you might get some better deals that will get you closer to the $500 mark. What's your alternative? Well, the alternative is from Canon and it's marketed under different model names depending on where you are in the world. So if you're in the US, you'll find this is known as the EOS Rebel T7. If you're in Europe, you'll find it's the EOS 2000D. If you're in Australia, I think it's the EOS 1500D. Basically, it's the same model and it's quite similar to the Nikon. It has 24.1 megapixel sensor. So again, great image quality. The number of photos you can take in a second is a bit slower. It's only three, so that might be a downside if you're really looking to do a lot of action shots. But like the Nikon, it can also shoot in full HD video. Again, just 1080p, but that should give you enough image quality to get you started. Now, price-wise, in the US, this is $480. In the UK, £519. So which one would I go for? Well, my decision would be influenced very much by the price because the Nikon would be the obvious choice for a couple of reasons. For me, in the UK, it's cheaper. But also, the uh, kit lens it comes with, that 18 to 55 millimeter lens, gets very good reviews right across the board. And I think things like having slightly uh, faster frames per second would be an advantage. The focus system also looks like it might be a bit better because it uses more points 11 compared to 9 from the Canon. So that's my choice. If you're in the US, you might be more tempted to go from the go for the Canon because it's around $170 cheaper if you were buying it from B&H. Either way, whichever you choose, you will get cameras that are great for beginners, easy to use, intuitive, and will help you develop your hobby and allow you to do many creative things that you'll want to learn about photography. And look out for some of my other videos that'll help get you started. I'll put a link to a playlist that'll uh, get you into photography and show you some of the basics. There's one final point I'd like to make. If you can spare just a little bit more money, you could really get yourself set up. And for around £100 more, you can get two kit lenses. And uh, with Nikon, you get the 18 to 55 plus a 70 to 300 for around £600. And uh, uh, in, in the US, you'll find that's about $750. Now, that's given you a great spread of focal lengths. 
it would really let you develop your hobby and you'd have something to suit almost every situation. You've got the same option with Canon. You can get an 18 to 55 kit lens plus a 75 to 300. In the UK, that will cost you around 600 pounds. In the US, it'll cost you around $600. So both great value packages. And if you were, if you were serious about getting started, that's probably what I would go for. I hope you found that some really useful advice and I look forward to uh, hearing which model you bought. Let me know in the comments. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.